I'm guessing that you saw those YouTube videos about oscilloscope music and, and you want to go out and get an oscilloscope yourself so you can see these, these cool um, visuals on the scope. You want someone to explain to you uh, how to do that, right? So that's what I'm going to do in the next few seconds. Keep it real short. Get out your wallet. You're going to need to buy an oscilloscope. This one here costs me about $250. comes with a manual. You can watch YouTube videos. you got to learn how to adjust some settings on it and uh, do various other things. Then you got to go and get a headphone cable like this, a regular stereo headphone cable. Um, like this one here with the three stripes. This is a stupid one, but uh, you'll have regular headphones. Anyway, it's left, right, and ground, as you can see here. Uh, left, right, and ground. Those are what the stripes on the plug mean on the jack, uh, left, right, and ground, you're going to want to wire the left and right up to your up to your oscilloscope. There'll be two channels, one for left, one for right. So anyway, strip the uh, strip the wire and then do a continuity test here with your multimeter to find out uh, which wire is left, which wire is uh, right, and which one is ground. Because you'll find there'll, there'll be three wires inside, uh, inside the case of the cable. Just as you can see there, you know, you, you connect it up to the clips on the oscilloscope, your probes, and uh, put on one of those YouTube videos you were listening to, and then uh, the, the, the music will come out of, you know, YouTube through that wire, and it'll go to the oscilloscope, and then you can see those visuals. As you watch them on YouTube, you'll see them appear in there on the oscilloscope as well. Pretty cool.